Hello there and welcome back everyone. It is time to finally up the stakes a little bit further I think. Although completely unnecessary, it's time for us to build ourselves a larger, more, much more menacing type of ship. Only problem is I have had no time at all with how busy it's been to really brainstorm what exactly kind of design I want. So we are going in completely, completely blind. Hey, come on. I thought I pre-rendered all these uh, assets right off already. Why is it doing this to me now? Well, this is a very impressive start, isn't it? Okay, at least we got that out of the way. Now let's actually make a new design. Because like I said, we have large-scale ships here. We're going to make our very own, but I think... Oh, is that really the Guardian from earlier? The Ranger? Yeah, I find it interesting because that I could have sworn that was a medium-type ship. So I find it interesting it's actually a large-scale ship. But nonetheless, we are going to have, like, the concept I've been thinking of is maybe do something similar to what I'm seeing with the Ranger and this uh, destroyer right here with the little flaps. Although it's not going to be made to look like an actual fight or anything. We're going to do this. This is just mainly going to be part of the superstructure, I think. So, what kind of wing component is that? It looks like it's just a generic. Well, it's, it's, it's multiple things, really. So, we're going to have to get creative if I'm going to make my own, I suppose. Is what I'm learning here. Nonetheless, that's what I... The only thing I really got going for me is what I would like to try. Although, let me turn this off, so that way we don't have this mess to look through. And at least everything's pre-rendered. And we have some wing components here that might be a good way to start. They're different kind of textures, and they're, they're, D, they're the DLC kind, so I'm not sure around what I got for the DL... Kind of for free, I guess, for pre-ordering was... I can't remember what the bonus what exactly was for this, but... Maybe... This might be how I start off, using this as kind of like my starting point. Doing in sim kind of similar fashion to what uh, I was just seeing there just a moment ago. Although, the rotation of course does not work at all. Because if I want to rotate downward slope, I have to make sure that's not even a right scale. All it did is just bring it down. So that didn't help very well. And I don't even think that's doing anything. It looks like it's just doing the exact same thing as what the set axis did. So this is going very well as a start, damn it. They probably could flush that out a little bit. Or maybe I'm just not doing it right. Because really all I wanted was a bit of a twist. Yeah, like that. Although I'm going to have to work on it a little bit more, I think. Just a little bit? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what I'm trying to go for anymore. I'm already lost. This is already a lost cause, I think, but... I'm gonna have to experiment with it a bit and try and see. At the very least, I think... Well, actually, I was gonna say maybe make it longer, but... This could be good for, like, the nose piece on top, if nothing else. Don't know what else I want to use it for. This is... If I remember correctly, this is, like, an engine or fin, maybe? I just want to be certain. Okay, this is, like, a fin. Which, arguably, that would have been better. That would have worked better for me, I think. So that's a little unfortunate, if only a little bit. Now, how do I add, like, a little bit of a body to it? Can I go with something really flat and just put underneath? If I do that, though, it would need to be something that has good size to it. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to go for here. I'm not quite certain yet, but let's try and make this flat as can be. Because we... I'm trying to add, kind of make this all one piece, ideally. The main concern with that, of course, is like... As you can see, it's not going to work very well unless I use more components like that. Or multiple components even like that, so... This probably could prove to be a stupid idea. Just bear with me. Like I said, we haven't really got a chance to really think things through, so... For all I know, this could still work, but... If it's gonna work the way I want, though, I want to try and get all the way to the front. Which I don't think is going to happen, without another component at least. 
to kind of fill it out. So I think I know how I could possibly do that. I kind of need, need it to connect to the right spot though first. So the only I would like to use this piece. The problem is though half of it is technically an engine side, so there's going to be a bit of an inconsistency with this component. I fear so. If that if it starts to stick out in a way that I dislike, I may have to scrap this component. Also, let's see. Let's try and narrow it, fit into place, and see how this works. At the very least, since this is kind of on the bottom, where the shading is not going to be as big of an issue, I can get away with a lot of rough edges on here. Although, what happens if I invert it? It's actually going to show me the inversion. I'm going to have to assume that was the inversion that I want, but still. Nothing really noticeable happened. I'm going to go out of a limb and say. So I don't know what to make of that. Yeah, I think this is going really well. Quite swell, you could say, but let's continue on with this concept. Try to, anyway. Because this is the fins that was used for those other large scale ships, so is there a way I can use this to be underneath? Again, problem is it's filling in, and I don't know. Well, it's gonna. I'm gonna have to try a lot of random pieces if I'm gonna even hope to fill this in properly. That's the only problem. And if, if I could somehow start to figure this out though, it'll give us a little bit more of a unique side design. So ultimately, this could be good for me. It's just not gonna. It's going to be a very slow, very annoying, very frustrating process, to say the least. And I'm threatening to cover over what I just worked on there, at least that one component. But I'm kind of okay with that. I'm kind of okay with that. I just want to try and get a nice seamless connection here of some kind. If it's at all possible. So, I still feel like that should be lower, regardless, because again, seamless connection is really all I want, if that's at all possible. So we'll move it forward more, as far forward as it needs to be. I could do proportional scale easily to narrow it. That's, there, let's see, is this component I want? No, that's the length, I think. Okay, what is exactly is the set axis doing here? It's making it narrower, but is it me or just does it seem like it's making the front wider for some reason? That's what that's the impression I'm getting, but of course with it so narrow it doesn't work out very well, does it now? Well, that's a that's a shame. We're back to square one pretty much. Unless I try some kind of weird rotation. A little bit of a rotation might do it there, or at least help with this some. Let's just see how the rotation works. Try to get it centered out and then that would help allow me to make it wider again. Arguably. It gives me the width I want at least. It seems, actually that angle kind of seems relatively seamless. We just got to somehow fill out this middle portion. Which this looks like a very good area for a cockpit of some kind. I don't know what exactly I'm trying to make just yet though, that's the problem. I have no clue where I'm going with this. But it feels like some kind of progress at least. Now I'm just trying to find the cockpit areas to see what we can work with. As far as an actual cockpit. Because this again is about ship size cruiser, so I imagine it would not have the lighting as bright and as large as it is now. I think that's safe to say. So this component alone is not going to do it. So how would this proportional scan look if I stretch it down and then narrow it some? Is there any way I can fill out that entire crack in the middle there 
in a reasonable fashion. Possibly. It might have to be a little bit taller or higher up. I don't know if I'm liking the prospect yet, especially since it's intruding on the bottom. That's something I haven't really considered very much. So, so much for that idea, I think. I could easily throw one little component to fill that out anyway. So that's not problematic. Do I make it taller though? Of course, again, lighting. We don't want it to be too ridiculous because that may cause problems, yeah, like I said, to keep forgetting about that bottom half, which is a bit of an annoyance. Just a little bit. At least the light on the bottom is not showing anymore, but... Am I making progress? I don't know. I'm not really certain, to be honest. I am... I am definitely really fatigued here, and that's certainly not helping with the process any, so... We are going to try and go with this and see hope and hopefully for t the next episode where I'm a little more rested, have a little more, more, much more clear thought, maybe then we'll have something to work with here. Because this looks like it could have a very cool possibility as like a fighter of some kind. Just looking at this component here, this is something I may have to hang on to for something down the road because that has potential right there. Just smooth it out, make sure the textures are not sticking out as much. And it looks like we got ourselves a concept of some kind for an actual fighter ship. That's what I'm feeling like here. If I could somehow make these uh, si these side components a little more bulkier, that or hell, even possibility of inverting them. That has potential there, but that's not what we're trying to build. So, what happens if I narrow it down a lot more? That's way too small, of course, so we're going to have to try and fix that a little bit. But how does that look? Maybe using it to the front is some, for, to some extent. Is that a good idea? Not if it's getting wide like that, though. So I don't think it's working to the, how I want it. So we'll tr let's try this again. Back to square one. The original attention, the original point of all this, was to try and have the superstructure connected to the back that could can, that works with that component, but can continue on with the actual central body. I just don't know just yet if I want to get rid of that front prongs or not, because I can narrow it, and that will well, that's not narrowing. I can narrow some and then increase all the con proportions to an extent that it helps fill out the inside there a little bit. So that helps reasonably well. Bit of an issue with the texture, the difference of the texture though, but that's something I can work with at least. And let's see, might have to fill it the bottom a tiny bit. But again, Textures are the only thing. We can still work with that. We'll have a little bit of work on the side here. I'm gonna try and put... What am I trying to say? Probably try to put a little more extra effort on this thing. Especially since I could throw an arc component like this on here. To kind of flush out the top some. This, considering this is a large scale battleship, I don't expect this to get done anytime soon. But hey. The campaign is going, well, it's going nowhere fast until I decide to build like an army of predator, like invasion trans transport ship, so I think we are good on that front here. So, how do I want to best fill this component out? Because I could easily make it taller to try and fill up the higher portion some. I could even, I can e yeah, I could even like brainstorm. What am I trying to say? Damn it. I told you. I am really fatigued. It's not going well already. I was really hesitant about making this video, but hey, let's try and keep this consistent and hopefully, like I said before, try and get a template all set up at the very least that it gives me something to work with for the next video. This video is probably going to be horrible as is, but I feel like project progress is being made. 
if slowly but surely making progress. Now, with that done, we probably want to start figuring out how do I want to get the superstructure all set up. And I got two copies here. They can fit in there. Might want to rotate them, might want to just propor proportional scale them. Because there's a few ways we could do this. Probably just want to make it short so it doesn't like intrude out as too much. Or even just offset it down some. Can I offset it down? No, that's the wrong axis. And then... Try to fill this out a tiny bit. I may even have to stretch it. Because yeah, it is sticking a little bit too... A little bit in a way I do not like. So, maybe a little bit of rotation is required. Maybe I just have to offset in some. I think rotation might be best. I just gotta find the right rotation and get it in there. Yeah, that didn't help too terribly much. So let's see, what does offset look like? Hmm. One degree axis seems to be in order here. So that way I can get a little more precise rotation. And of course get a better idea of what I have in mind. Hmm. I almost want to offset back up and rotate downward actually. If I were to be honest. So can I center this? Yeah. So this is basically centered. So what happens if I rotate downward? It's going to be interesting. But considering this is a command center, I can... It is very possible to make the superstructure escape, like slope upwards as far as the purposes of making it more thicker or bulkier, so we can work with this. Now I just need an actual superstructure component. So do I cheat a bit and use another component like this behind the light, the, this other component that we use, because we're going to have a little bit of a repetition it feels like. Feels like we may be getting to that point. It's just a matter of, can I make this work? Because I don't, I may have to sin this a bit, but I don't want it to be too sin. Because this, this, ideally, I would like to make part of the main superstructure. Don't know how exactly to make this work. It has a nice connection point there. We can, again, work with it. Now we got to play with propulsion proportions. See if I want it wide or not. And how far can I stretch it before we get too far? Because, yeah, I may need to lower and then bring it upward some. That might be an idea. Just want to make sure that's as flush as possible. Hell, again. This looks like it could be a ship right now, I gotta say. To some extent. It may not look like an armored cruiser or corvette. But I'm already liking the potential of the ship here. Just gotta work, gotta figure out the nuances in hell. I could swap the texture some. But that component is gonna stand out a little bit. That is a, a slight concern of mine. So I might as well figure out which I, style I like more. Maybe I like it this way, but again, this component has more shine to it than the, everything else. So that's something I'm gonna have to be keep in mind I might be a little bit concerned regarding that component now onward next get some more superstructure in problem is this is like a very narrow component so I don't think it's going to do much good for me even though I would like to be able to use this and this is a block of some kind but I don't know what exactly I want to make of it can I use this for anything it's really blocky I don't know if I like it or not. And of course, inferring inward like that actually made more seamless, sort of. And what is this component even supposed to be? That would help decide if I want to stick with this component or not. I don't think I want it. Because again, I have no idea what this component even is to begin with. So, I'm not sure if I want to use it. 
And since we are going for a real large scale ship, hmm. I have a lot of components to use, I just don't know which one's the right one to use. Like, I could wa narrow this quite a bit, and this would make, like, s sort of good point as part of the superstructure, at least. Only problem is that's really high up there, so I may need to invert that upside down and see how that looks. And if I do that, where would be a good spot to connect? To be honest, I don't think I want to go with it anyway, damn it. What do I use? What do I use, or do I actually have to commit to using a bunch of smaller components to slowly start shaping what I want the ship to be? If that has the possibility to make something truly wonderful and unique, but it like I was concerned with at the very beginning of this uh, rundown, this sh episode, it can very e easily go horribly wrong. And then we have to spend an episode or two trying to correct a lot of the mis messes. Which doesn't sound promising. And again, these components don't, I don't, these are more of like a cosmetic piece anyway, because this can very easily look out of place when you make them really big as actual superstructure components, so... Ah, there, I think we're finally starting to make a little bit of progress. This is a component I like. This is a component I like. It has a little bit of lighting, which helps with the scale and believability of the ship some. Now, how do we fine-tune this in a way I like? Because it slots in there relatively well. I like it so far. I just don't know if I want to make it wider or not. And now I can almost make it completely flush with that component there, which works well too. Just got to be careful about overdoing it. And of course change the texture to help it be more consistent with everything else. Now, do I make it wider though? Because wine is not really bad, but of course now it's start. Yeah, because it's in so far, he's very easily clips here. So, it helps a tiny bit, but not much. Not on its own. I'm going to need a couple more pieces like that, unless... Is it possible to make like a mirror component? A mirror component's not too terribly bad, actually. It's not bad. But, hmm. Do... I need to continue to make this ship seem a little bit larger in scope, so do I rotate it? have like a bit of a rotation slope downward that kind of helps gradually make it bigger because like that slope helps give it a little more girth or is that proper term phrasing I know what it means but it helps give it extra size extra make it seem more like a battle cruiser because again this co cockpit area make can potentially make this seem like a much smaller ship than it is in terms of scale. So I want to gradually make the rest of the body of the ship m more bigger, more formidable. So I may need to start sloping up. So, with that said, how much do I angle it? Because I can offset it a little bit to help co compensate a little bit. Because, yeah, because it's sloping downward, I can actually push a little more aggressively forward. And that way, nothing's really overlapping with the other textures. It just means that we have a lot more work ahead of us here. But I'm already loving the potential to front here. It's how the hell can I start filling out the rest of this body. So we can eventually get ourselves an incredible battleship to call our own. Hopefully I'll have better answers for the next video.